Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello students, in the previous sections, we have studied what is a pitot tube as well as we have seen a problem in which we have seen relativity or relative analogy between a pitot tube and a submarine which is uh, moving inside an ocean. Now, let us solve a problem which is related to pitot tube only as well as when it is exposed to a negative vacuum pressure. So, we have a pitot tube. So, we have a problem over here. A pitot tube records 7.85 kN per meter square as the stagnation pressure and its head, when its head at the center of 250 millimeter diameter conveying water. So, there is a pipe which is conveying water having a diameter of 250 millimeters having a static head that is 2.85. The static pressure is 40 mm of mercury that is the gauge vacuum pressure. Calculate the discharge, discharge of the pipe. So, we have to calculate Q over here. Assuming the mean velocity that is V is 0.8 the maximum velocity. So, whatever velocity we calculate is the maximum velocity of the fluid that is at the center. Take Cv is equals to 0.8. So, this is what we have to calculate. So, over here the stagnation pressure is uh, given to us that is Stagnation pressure P1 is 7.85 kilonewton per meter square. The pressure P2 that is static pressure can be given is 40 mm of Hg but it is vacuum pressure. Since it is a vacuum pressure over here, there is some suction involved over here. So that means this is equals to 0.04 into rho of Hg into G. So this is 0.04 into 13200 into 9.81. So this uh, somewhat comes out to be as minus of 5.336 kilonewton per meter square that is the pressure P2 that is the static pressure and this is the stagnation pressure. Now we know that mean velocity is 0.8 times the central velocity or the maximum velocity. So over here H can be given as H that is the dynamic pressure that is the stagnation pressure minus the static pressure divide, divided by rho g. So this will be uh, given as equals to 7.85 minus of 5.336 upon rho of Hg, rho of water over here since it is exposed to water not Hg into 9.81. So, this comes out to be as 1.3442 meters of water. Now, let us understand this over here. We know that the stagnation pressure that is S PST is equals to static pressure plus dynamic pressure. The static pressure over here is a rho g h. Dynamic pressure is a rho g into small h. So the difference between the static pressure and the stagnation pressure will give us dynamic pressure. So this is dynamic pressure. This is the dynamic head of the water which we have calculated. Now with respect to this we can calculate the maximum velocity we know cv is equals to 0.8 so once we have got the dynamic head let us calculate what is value of velocity so the velocity is equals to that is the maximum velocity at the center will be equals to cv into square root of 2g into h h is the dynamic head so this will be equals to 0 0.8 into square root of 2 into 9.81 
into value of h is 1.3342 to so one calculation of this vmax comes out to be as equals to 5.033 meters per second so we have calculated the maximum velocity which is at the center but here we have to calculate the discharge for discharge we don't need maximum velocity which is at the center we need the mean velocity which is the mean of the total velocity throughout the section for that they have given us the relation v mean is equals to 0.8 into v max so this is 0.8 into v max is 5.033033 so v mean will be equals to 4.026 meters per second so that is the velocity over here that is the mean velocity now the discharge will be equals to area into velocity but over here this will be mean velocity so this is pi by 4 into diameter so the diameter is 250 mm so which is in meter 0 0.25 the whole square area of cross section into velocity that is a 4.026 so the discharge comes out to be as equals to 0 0.19765 meter cube per second or 197.63 liters per second so this is what is the discharge so in this problem we have calculated what is the discharge as well as the maximum velocity which is at the center as well as we have used the difference of stat uh, stagnation head and the static head to calculate what is the dynamic head so i hope you have understood how we have calculated the problem related to this tube thank you